it was a couple of weeks ago or thereabouts. Siddharth Malhotra gave us Yuddha. Court martial had temple problems, but comes back to save India and its respect. Now we have not one, but you have two. Therefore, you have Badevi, Shoki. Don't get confused with that Matt Kappa comedy, Badevi, Shoki, starring Amitabh Bachchan and Guru. That too was a bad movie, no doubt about that. But what made that Badevi, Shoki, Mia a much better choice than the one that we have now on hand is the fact that uh, to begin with, you had Amitabh Bachchan. And you had extremely underrated actor with a brilliant sense of time, Govinda. This time, our buddy Mia is Akshay Kumar, muscle, muscle all the time. And you have Taito Shroff, muscle, muscle, younger age. Now, Ali Abbas, Zafar, of Tiger Zindahe has to push the honor. It takes while it's too sound. It's a frenzy. It's madness. In fact, at some part of the film, uh, one of the characters in the movie shouts and advises Badimiya and Chotimiya, Akshay and Tiger. Uh, Give up, guys. Get out. Get out. That seems to be the most honest call, arguably from the filmmaker to the audience, telling them please give up on this movie, just get ahead of this movie. Two hours and 45 minutes of just violence, nothing else. Remember, the first time stylized cars got destroyed was in Aparad, Firoz Khan, Sirka 70s. Then you had Rohit Shetty taking, graduating it all to a higher level. Now this is arguably the peak of that nonsense. Unfortunately, when you sit and watch this movie with those 3D glasses, the graphics are so pathetic. You can make out those uh, Plaster of Paris uh, towers and tombs falling apart in the beginning of the story. But that's hardly the error in the book. I'm not going to confuse you with the tale, the story, because it's it's so meaningless. It is some attempt at robots coming over, taking over uh, science. Uh, science uh, is the ski feat. The other day you had Shahid then Dimple Kapadia. Now you have Akshay Kumar and uh, uh, Tiger Shroff. We have Prithviraj Sukumar. All of them together are giving you this unadulterated action thriller, if you would like to call that. There was a time when our filmmakers, uh, film directors sat back and let the music directors run the show for a while. At the time when you had Shankar Jaitishyam, Naushad, Madan Mohan, the likes. Today, it's the stunt man who takes over. Craig McRae, who's been associated with films like Patan, is back and he's in complete control of the movie. I think he contributes far more to the movie than Abaz Ali. It came to a very. Here too, you have two officers of the armed forces, Firoz and Rakesh, who have been court martialed and thrown out of the army. But when the nation is facing a looming disaster, the entire Indian armed forces, I repeat, the Indi entire Indian armed forces look up for two men. Oh God, in every field of our lives, can we only look up at two men? Here we have these two court martialed persons who are brought back, one of them hesitating. Uh, to save the country, because uh, their famous uh, statement is that we may be thrown out like this to patriots. 
and so you have them coming back to fight a clone or to get back the Kavach. But what is the Kavach? Who runs the Kavach? Why is this man gunning for India? He wears a horrendous mask. And it's strange that people can't, people in the armed forces can't make out the voice of a guy they've spent time with for years on end. They can't make out his gait, they can't make out his structure. And they're the brilliant guys. The entire country is waiting for just these two guys to save us. God forbid. I thought we did that with Mumra and Virat. Are we doing it with armed forces also? So, this huge dependence or just two people by a nation full of people whose morning to night exercise is chest thumping is a huge paradox that we need to address. But that's again one of the minor problems of the Philippines. You have these two guys coming back and you know, very interestingly, they are to go and get back this coverage and what do they call this project? They said, let's get a film name. So they first type and they get Kote Sikke. Doesn't sound right. Nice, right? Kote Sikke is as bad as the bad, as bad as uh, Naresh Bedi, a rejected film on the Western uh, take of Firoz Khan in Danny Ritz. So interesting trivia to many of us is that it was Kote Sikke that Danny Denzopa preferred to do it Gabbar in Shole. The rest, as they say, is history. Come back here, no Kote Sikke. So the next choice they get is Bade Mia Chote Mia. So Bade Mia Chote Mia BHCA is the code for the game. Uh, masterminded by or controlled by Captain Isha, uh, Captain Misha, played by Manushi Chilla. She has a nerd who's here named Pan in Alia F, who is uh, some kind of a scholar in Oxford. The one nice thing in the film is you get to see a little bit of Oxford. To many of us, uh, that's as close as we can get there. And uh, it's just this, me in it as well. It's you. There's just no be there. The one time you say, ha, ah, it lasts. is the well choreographed Bade Mia Chote Mia title song. Both Tiger and Akshay give it all. Like they do through the movie, they give it all. But the action film sounds very really hollow. And this whole uh, recipe for disaster. If it is a warning or a trailer of the looming disaster around, it needs more serious consideration. It ends up being chewing up, to say the least. It was Herman Wow who said, either God is finished or we are. We, for ourselves, a peace loving nation. Here's a film that every minute something or the other is going into pieces. This way we will be pieces loving nation. A time to take a look. I know the director's prerogative is always paramount. But the director's responsibility is also managed with that prerogative of his. Time to take a look at this from a social political angle also without allowing the czars of our culture to intervene and trample on artistic freedom. On that note, I would very, very clearly, loudly, from my point of view, reiterate that this is a kind of film I regret having watched and invested on. Akshay Kumar, Prithvi, not its time. Few pleasant movements of Tiger Shroff, not its time. To me, Bade Mia, Chote Mia, this destruction celebrated loudly, meaningless. It's mayhem, but 
you should do it. Sign up with customary acknowledgements to Abhina and Pratu and the request that your day is on to my podcast. Thank you very much. And before I sign off, many of you may be interested. I've done a one-hour talk on Indian cinema. Uh, it's available on YouTube. Uh, Manthan has put it up. Do take the trouble of hearing me out for an hour or so on Indian cinema. And do respond to me on that too. Bye-bye.